Revids. I've just arrived at Michael Rogers headquarters to look at the fantastic bike that we're going to be raffling. Let's go inside. You ready, Michael? I'll come ready. in. Got my pen. Yeah. Oh, I'm checking the work. Do you know which way A and E goes in, Michael? Yes. I yes. always get confused. Yeah. Is that permanent marker? Yes. It yeah, is, that's yeah. right. Brilliant. Fantastic. Cool, yeah. All cool. Oh, I'll have a zoom in. Right, here we are at Michael Rutter's headquarters, buying a bike for you Revheads. We're gonna raffle something. Here's his lineup for this year. Sponsored by Bathams and now sponsored by Revcomps. And there's Michael and Alec, hello. Chief Mechanic. Hello, Michael. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. There's your dad's bike. We're actually buying... This one. That one. That's the tribute. <laughs> No, are you sure you don't want to sell that one? Yeah, I'd love no. to. <laughs> uh, this is the tribute bike. If you want to just give us a lowdown of what it is. Yeah, basically, um, that's my dad's um, Formula One bike. He finished a third on in the championship, world championship, um, and the helmet and all that. So we wanted to do something. Obviously, my dad um, died in the last year in March, and uh, his whole life was, you know, ran motorbike racing and love racing and uh, we had some leathers made by Alpine Star and that and uh, copies of my dad's race suit yeah. as well and uh, basically we color, got the colour scheme and thank you to BMW uh, they let us run it in in the colours of my uh, dad's uh, dad's Ducati so um, uh, thank big thank you to them but uh, this was yeah, a so basically it's just a we, we try to get as near as we can yeah. and all the logos and everything to uh, to this but this is um, you know this was at Brands Hatch this is a Brands when? Hatch at the end of the year this yeah. is the last round of the year I, I just did the, obviously you can see in the back there the, yeah I was the going to say that the, the Catty my dad's Catty and, and this bike here um, um, we'll get a picture of that and post it yeah yeah, it's quite cool really it's something a bit different and we got loads of media press out of it and uh, that's your dad's ashes in the box underneath the crash helmet that's it yeah yeah, yeah we thought we'd take him to Brands Hatch yeah. he loved Brands Hatch <laughs> and we, I thought I can't leave him at home for the last meeting that's so. nice yeah it's nice just yeah. a nice thing to do and you know it's something it's a one off yeah uh, bike it's, it's absolutely the engine in it's fantastic it's like one of the best engines because you get a load of engines and we get the best ones and it's it's it was flying the brands actually it was just unfortunately me what was slow but yeah. <laughs> 11th and uh ended up i think 16th uh, but arm pump off me in the end but, i was going to say you're not really fit enough no exactly yeah. no, like <laughs> nothing the personal race, the first race <laughs> did, like last year only did one race and yeah just nice doing everything around the team and that it was uh, it was quite difficult so just getting, i'm happy with that i've got i've got i have the same problem with getting to the gym it's impossible, isn't it? With all, the, with all these, with all these, I'm breathing in. Well, so basically, the bike can win, win a race at British, uh, at British Superstock Championship, and even could, you know, for this year, the bike is, it's got everything on it, everything you could ever want, and, uh, uh, and that's down to Alec, you know, basically Alec um, organises what's on it and everything, and he can tell you more about it. Yeah, he was telling me it's only done. What's it done, Alec? Two hundred and something miles. Well, yeah, if you I'll come around and. Uh, you actually on the side of the bike. Um, so the bike is as it is, as it came off the track. Ab absolutely. Rubber uh, rubber splats here and there. Yeah, I mean, not cleaned. Just taking some panels off, you can see. That's basically it's, it's the, so, the rubber off the front tire. We. So if somebody wants to buy it, just to sit on it and let it go up in value, and just look at it in it's the got kitchen. To be, it's got to be a collector's item. It's, yeah. It's a one-off. The bodywork. It's. You know, it's what the big teams do at the TC, yeah. leave the flies as it's finished the race. So basically the, the bike was clean, but the bodywork was just yeah. taken off and refitted exactly as it's come off the race. Right. Um, if you want to zoom down here, Pete, and zoom in on this. Um, I always mark the engines up. It's done 270 kilometres. Mm -hmm. The engine is dated 18th of the 10th, 20, yeah. which is brand's actual date, and I've marked it strong motor. Yeah. It was just a really, really good engine out of the box. Great. Um, uh, do you want to turn the dash on and we'll look at... We've got the dash the on, and again, that has never been touched. Uh, that is basically a 
That is record, data recorded, Michael's fastest lap of the race. Right. Still held on the dash. Um, coming around to this side as well, which is, you know, as you go from one BSB meeting to the next, you remove the scrutineering pass stickers. Oh, right, yeah. Because this one, we were keeping it special, it's mm -hmm. got the MCRCB signed and dated scrutineering sticker, as was at Brands Arch. Cool. So, you know, that gives it... What's the word? Authenticity? Yeah. Is that the big word you're looking for? I mean, I think we're appealing to, like, Tony Rutter fans because we've got a wide database of people, young and old. So if somebody does want to track that, we've got... Well, no, it feels like it, it, it is... Um, it can be put back onto the road. You'll need a lot of uh, bits and pieces to do it. But, um, you know, the bike can be... Yeah. Fucking right. It's got a, a logbook. Um, and like that, so. I'm, just, I'm just thinking we got a lot of customers my sort of age that remember your dad so yeah you know, yeah, to, yeah. To, which is you know obviously it's a one off there's no, no other one in the world so yeah. it's something uh, special and unique and to have this in your bike, lounge and it's, a, and it's a good bike you know yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know the cost of this to build is just uh, it's just ridiculous I, you know? I think the actual build cost of this bike from my point of view you're looking at round about 38,000 quid yeah to buy this, you know, an S1000 M Sport 2020 bike mm. and to put everything on it that we've put on it, all the kit electronics, Motec dash, KTEC suspension, ROA exhaust, yeah. you're looking at a build cost of 38 grand and it has genuinely done 270 kilometres. Yeah. That's recorded in the ECU. It's, it's a brand new bike. Brand and new bike, like. whoever wins it, if they want to run it, they can ring you any time. Yeah, or, give us a call for advice and yeah, when how they, to set it up. If they want to race it or sit it in a living room, you know, we ain't going You can anywhere. advise them where to put it in the yeah, living room and yeah. the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my house. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> very good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fantastic.